join us as we go into the new Egypt comic and toy show. Hopefully, you will enjoy being with us while we walk through the show. Just gonna, me and Dad today. Just the two of us. Brian didn't feel good. We're going to be looking for Fantastic Four. Maybe we'll finish New Mutants. Maybe we'll find number one. Cassidy's going to buy me number one. We'll look at each table. We'll talk to some of the vendors. Have fun with us. Join us in our adventure in New Egypt. We've got an hour to get here. Well, let's look inside. Here we go. So as you can see from the opening, we went to New Egypt Comic Book and Toy Show. Um, we had a couple of friends were there. We bought comic books for you, so stay tuned to the end. See how you can get in the giveaway. It's not that hard, and it's free. And we also bought two super huge books. Yes, we did. Wall books that were big. I was eh, 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 but then I ended up picking them up. Shoot. I also convinced him a little. Convinced me a I lot. I mean, they were, it was a good price for... It was a good were. price for two huge... Uh, I'll give you a hint, Fantastic Four books. We'll see that at the end. So, New Egypt is not far from a big flea market out in New Jersey. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from us. So, it's a short drive for us, but the convention is pretty good. This is my second time there. Um, a couple of our friends of the show are there. Greg from... Newcomb Comics has a table, and John, who runs the One Day Comic Expo, has a table. And it was set up, there were comic books on the outside, toys on the inside. So and other things. And other things, yeah. Art. Art. Pillows, local Custom pillows. Local people making, you know, sell, selling stuff they make. Um, it's about 30 vendors, I guess. Maybe a little bit more. Really? That what? many? I would think so, just the way it was set up. I think about 30 vendors on inside and outside. I feel like it was less. It's run by a comic shop out in that area, um, New Egypt. It's it's a good little show. It's it, it had a good balance of comics yeah. and toys. Yeah, which is what we like. We like the balance. It shouldn't be all toys. It shouldn't be all comics. We like the ones that are split in the middle. And Cassie likes the ones that have artists selling the stuff that they make. So definitely worth a trip for us. They have it in the New Egypt Elks Lodge. So you saw in the intro, there's an elk outside and there's, there's a bar inside there. A lot of small comic conventions nowadays have them in these elk lodges and in like local schools or, you know, something easy to rent and not too expensive. It was $5 to get in. And when you got in, you got a bag of comic books. So each of us got our bag. We will look at those too. Cassidy, what's your thoughts? The thoughts from a younger person. It was good. Not my top convention, but uh, there was quite a bit of Star Wars things. Not comics that we saw, but right. Star Wars toys. You'll see what I bought later. Oh, Cassidy but, bought Star Wars toys. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. I was looking at some of the old stuffed animals, and I personally thought that they were 
a little overpriced and this was at one booth but like i saw an et stuffed animal that was old and it was 20 and i was like i can get a new one for 20. she wanted to buy it to torture so, her sister because her sister does not like et and i love et so she but was gonna buy it if there it was, was definitely cheaper. toys and things that i haven't seen at other conventions and then we saw a lost boys pillow that i was debating buying but then it was gone when it happens when you debate <laughs> if you debate too long it's gone i you know what i don't realize how popular the lost boys is i well, think I, that we love that we're huge lost boys fans if you're a big lost boys fan just drop it in the comments that you love the movie too i love the connection that it's vampires and that there's a comic book element to it it's it's been my favorite vampire movie for many, 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 many years. And I got Cassidy hooked on it over the years. So we watch it every time it's on. I honestly can't tell you how many times I've seen The Lost Boys over the last So when I years. saw a homemade Lost Boys well, we thing, I... We have yeah. a bunch of homemade pillows <laughs> When I saw on a pillow, the I was like, oh my God, Lost Boys? I don't often see Lost Boys that merchandise we ever at see conventions, any. even like New York Comic Con. That is a huge convention. Yeah. I don't really see Lost Boys things. So anytime I see it, How I'm much like, was it? I don't know. Because that was the only pillow I was looking for. And then it... If you have a Lost gone. Boys pillow, send it to us. We'll, we'll, we'll put it right here with our Marvel and DC pillows. We have a Star Wars pillow sitting back there. But we do buy stuff when we're at conventions from uh, creators if they're making stuff. Cassidy has been doing that since she was little. So she continues to do it. So when we... Most of the small convention we go to do not have those kind of artists yeah. new egypt does which is great so the only issue i had with new egypt to be honest with you is the last month here in the northeast has been really weird there'll be a day where it's 75 degrees and then the next day it'll be 45 degrees they had the heat turned up really really high and it just got a little bit uncomfortable in there it actually i think it cut our visit a little bit short yeah we left early because it was like getting really warm and even the vendors were complaining about how warm it was in there but we did our normal stuff we looked at comic books we there was a bunch of really good wall books we know you guys like to see the wall books we look at here's a look at some of the wall books we saw actually bought a couple of those wall books so stay tuned what to the end buy? you'll see we, we did our normal walking around some some good toys some good comics i bought a stack of comics as we i always do probably would have bought more would have bought more if we stayed a little longer but we were just getting uncomfortable very uncomfortable the heat which is no one to blame it's just the weather has been so strange lately up here in the northeast so i, mean, I can't blame them maybe they can't control it but it did cut our cut our visit short i didn't fill in all the holes that i wanted to there's a couple of we want to finish new mutants we want to finish new warriors i didn't really get a chance to look through many doll books but i did look through some john had a bunch of doll books i bought stuff from him i bought 
uh, something I've been looking for from Greg. So it was a good time and all. We met, met, talked with old friends and bought some stuff. So Cassidy, what did you pick up? It's time okay. for the haul. We will start with Cassidy's haul first. Mine's all comic books, as you can probably imagine. Cassidy buys a bunch of other stuff. So I spent a total of ten dollars <laughs> at this convention. I spent a lot more than ten dollars. <laughs> Uh, so I'll start off with I bought some pins. So I did buy a Lost Boys pin. Listen, buddy, if you're looking for the Diet Frozen Yogurt Bar, it went out of business last summer. Actually, I'm looking for a Batman number 14. That's a very serious book, man. Only five in existence. Four, actually. I'm always looking out for the other three. Very nice. These were three for five, so, so they're just the I had to get three. Then a Muppets one. And Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. You went Halloween. Very nice. I wouldn't call it Halloween. Year round. Oh, Halloween and Christmas, right. And then I've been reading and listening to a lot of Star Wars books. So I've been reading Star Wars books, listening to also Star Wars audiobooks. So there was a seller selling a, they had a big bin of Star Wars books. I only got one. So I. So you're going to stop buying more? <laughs> How much was this? Five. Oh, that's pretty it good. Five for hardcover, three for uh, paperback. But, awesome. So I don't really know what it's about, but I prefer the Clone Wars era and the prequels. She's young. And so once I saw that Anakin... Don't criticize her. She's young. <laughs> once I saw Anakin on the cover, I was Every like, generation I have has to get their it. Star Wars, so that it's nice that there's still generations growing into Star Wars. I so got yeah. no fault. So it's with a that. Clone Wars novel. We'll be reading it Good. on my list. And that's it? That's it. Ten dollars. You, you need to buy more if you're gonna be replacing Brian, so um, let's first thing we should do is let's look at the this is free. So it was five dollars to get in, but you got a bag of I think Three or four comic books. I know this is a kid. I think this is the first Prince of Magpie, to be honest with you. Batman 401. Batman 399. Those will go in the collection. Uh, Avengers number 10. I'm loving this <laughs> Buffy <laughs> Got Milk ad on the back, though. Cassie's Sorry, been, been watching eyes. all of Buffy's stuff lately. Let's get rid of this. Here's the other bag. Uh, we have Sherlock Holmes. The Vanishing Man. These are all free. Sherlock Holmes, The Vanishing Man. Not really interested in those. And Avengers. Oh, that's nice. 340. That'll go in the collection, too. Very nice. That's a free. Ron Lim cover. Well, not for free. That was... It was $5, it was but you got something. $5 to get into a convention is nothing. Let's be honest. It's That's, that's reasonable. There was a lot of kids there. Mostly, you know, adults shopping for comic books. But $5, you can get in and you get... You know, three free comics, it makes it worth it when you get something in return. That's been a big discussion of ours, how, you know, how much money should you spend to go into a small convention? We think five is right on the nose, depending on what you're getting. If you're getting something free, maybe a little bit more, but five is great. Now let's look at what I actually bought. Remember, there's a big ones coming at the end. So, recently we interviewed the guys who are producing this. It's coming from... Um, IPI Comics. It's an Australian-based comic book company. They got the rights to use the Human Fly, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the interview. It was great. It was a little bit different than any of our other ones because it was 8 a.m. here. It was 11 p.m. there. So we were, you know, a little bit off on our times, but a great interview. These guys really loved the Human Fly, and they went out of their way to get it. Greg had this for me. I'm having trouble finding this. This is issue zero. The cover is done by Jan. Jan was on. We didn't interview with him. Really, subscribe. Stay tuned. This was great. This this is a good comic. Human Fly is great. It used to be Marvel property. They don't have the rights anymore. Now IPI does. So I did buy not a lot of DC comics. I bought we one. Been lotting a, lotting no, a lot because of DC. we've been talking lately that there's not a lot of DC comics in dollar bins. Marvel is increasing the amount in a dollar bin. DC is not. I don't know why. I don't know what the trend is. If you do, let me know why. If you're seeing the same thing when you go to comic conventions by you, let us know. I'm really interested. But by us, Marvel seems to be dominating the dollar bins where it used to be only DC. So I'm big into Milestone. This is Icon number four. 
hardly ever see these in a dollar bin. Every time I do, I buy them, hoping to complete the entire series. I don't think I've ever seen Icon when I look through. No, because they're not never there. That's it. That's all the DC I bought. Strange, only one. I did pick up a bunch of American Flag. Howard uh, Chaikin was on the show. Since then, I've been buying every, every issue. 38. 39, 42. This series is groundbreaking. It really set the tone for the 1980s change in comics. 43, 44. There's no Dark Knight without this. 46. There's probably no Watchmen either. 48. Uh, this is like the second series, eight. So I bought that. That's my independence. And now let's get into the Marvel comics I bought. That's, There's a lot of them. That's the rest of the stack. There are a lot. And there are some keys. And there are two super keys. Captain America 1, 58. Love the old Cap and the Falcon. If you watched any of our other episodes, you know Captain America and the Falcon is one of the big ones I collected when I was a kid. 179. One, uh, 269, this is the first key. This is the first appearance of Team America. They're that motorcycle, dirt bike riding, typical 1970s. I bought all of these from John's New Jersey shop. Right there it is right there, NewJerseyComic.com. He runs One Day Comic Expo. He is a friend of the show. That's our first key. Captain America 298, that's our second key. The Red Skull reveals his name in this one, and we get his origin for the first time. So that's a big key. Captain America 412, trying to complete the 400s run. Captain America 413, Cassidy helps me with a lot of these. 415. So when we do that, we each take our list. Cassidy goes through the dollar bins, and I go to the dollar bins, and we pull the ones that are on the list. Kitty Pride and Wolverine. One of my favorite limited series, number three. Number five, this is key number three. Kitty Pride becomes Shadow Cat in this issue. That's a big one. Howard the Duck, number five. Cassidy found this one. I think this one was in the $3 bin. Uh, yeah, it says it's a $3 bin. So there were a few $3 comics. There were a few $3 comics. New Mutants, Mostly 18. This is key number 14. This is actually a big key. It's the first cameo appearance of Warlock and the first full appearance of Demon Bear. So this is actually a gold key. If you if you use one of the charting things, there's gold key and there's like lesser ones, blue keys. That's a gold key because it's it's more it's important to the comic book universe. I also went on a crazy run of ROM comics. Not sure why, I don't collect rom comics, but he had a whole bunch of them in there in the dollar bin, so let's see what rom I got. Now you're collecting Now I'm collecting. That. Rom number 14, this is key number five. The first appearance of Starshine and Terminator. Not the Terminator, just Terminator. Cassie, do you know what rom is? I actually don't. Rom, back in the late 1970s, was a toy. It was like a robot toy, that's rom. And then Marvel turned it into a comic book series that lasted for quite a long time. Way longer than the toy was being sold for. Number 25. This is key number 6. First appearance of Hammerhead, Astra, Javelin, and Rainbow. That's from. He was like a little robotic toy from the 1970s. I'll have to show him one time when we go to a toy show. 37. You have to start buying ROM toys now? No, they're expensive. 40. Key number... Seven, the first appearance of uh, the second Starshine, I think. 43. See, so yeah, I bought a bunch of ROMs. Not really sure why. 45. I did the same thing with Shogun Warriors recently, too. Just started buying them. 46. 48. There's a lot of them. Ooh, Return of the Jedi video. I love, while he shows the comics, I love looking at the back for the advertisements of for what the, was being 1980s. advertised 50, at that time. This is key number eight, the death of Torpedo. So that's ROM and three keys. 52. Oh, wait, four keys. Key number nine, the first appearance is General Mayweather Luckline. You know who he is, right? Me neither. <laughs> 53. Great cover. 
Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 120. Cassidy found this one. She knows that I collect the 25th anniversary ones. This is key number 10 because it's the 25th anniversary. I think I only need six more. You're welcome. Thank you. And now it's time. It's time for the big two. What do you think it is? Oh, that's good. Comment below before I reveal. What do you think I bought? I bought two big keys. I already said it's Fantastic Four. So, so, it's not number one. Cassidy wouldn't buy that for me. We actually rarely ever see number one. But it is not very far from number one. I bought number eight. This is key number 11. This is first appearance of Alicia Masters and the first appearance of Puppet Master. For those of you that don't know, Alicia Masters is the thing's wife, longtime girlfriend. This was not cheap. It was a wall book. I asked to see it. I looked it over, thought it looked pretty good. Price was really good. So I had to pick it up. Price was good for definitely. Price what was it good. Is. And nice. this this seller for the wall books for most of them also on the back wrote what's like this is an imperfect condition. Right. So price wise, he had is this the one he had two versions of this? So one was in better condition, one was yes. but it was really nice that they had written down everything that was wrong, like staple out of place yeah. here. So that's rip tear here. My so. earliest Fantastic Four Survive. It's Fantastic Four number Ever. eight. Right, so getting closer to number one and closer to number five. Number five, do you know why that's important? No, why is it important? First appearance of Doctor Doom. And that wasn't the only key I bought. I did buy a second big key. It happened to be sitting right next to this one on the shelf. So I bought Fantastic Four number nine also. This is key number 12. It's the third Silver Age appearance of the Submariner. I really was not going to buy these two, but Cassidy was like, you can't pass it up. Price is too good. Grab them. So you know what? She convinced I mean, me. At most conventions, early comics like that go for so much yeah, more money. These were not nearly as much as you think. Put in the comments, what do you think? How much do you think we paid for them? How much would you pay for them? Do you, what's the earliest comic book that you have in your collection? I'd love to hear that one. These are going to be close to the, and I have some from the 40s, so no. I have some old cartoon ones from the 40s, so, that I found in dollar bins. Always check the dollar bins. So that's it. That's our haul from New Egypt Comic and Toy Show. We have other show episodes coming up soon, so make sure you subscribe. Share this with your collecting friends. Become a member. If you become a member, you get some cool stuff. You get to do a one-on-one -on -one video with us if you would like. You get to you know, actually talk to us. So check it out. Check out our memberships. It's, you know, it's definitely worth it if you're a fan of our show. Thanks for watching. Love what you collect. And collect what you love. We'll see you next time. Oh, man, these are awesome. I can't believe he found these. Puppet Master, Alicia Masters, third Silver Age appearance of Submariner. That's incredible. Where's everybody? Hello? Look. God damn it. I'm still on this show.